Hello friends, this is Jay Hendricks with Powerful Thought Daily. Today I wanted to talk with you about how elitists control thinking. Now, there are a lot of people in power that a lot of people don't know about. They're not the people that are presidents, they're not the people that are leaders of nations necessarily. There are people behind the scenes that are pulling strings. Who knows who they are, but they implement strategies that control thinking because they know if they can control thinking in the masses they can stay on top okay so how I'm gonna break this down is there's an algorithm used in mathematics called the divide and conquer algorithm divide and conquer another way you could think about this is differentiation and integration divide differentiation conquer integration so it they're kind of similar but the principles kind of the same they're taking a algorithm that works to integrate people and using it to dominate people okay so it's a mathematical formula so to break this formula down this is what you do first you divide the problem and we're talking about mathematics here Divide the problem into a number of subproblems that are smaller instances of the same problem. Next, you conquer the subproblems by solving them through repeated application of a rule or a procedure. And if they are small enough, solve the subproblems as base cases. Next, you combine the solutions to the subproblems into the solution for the original problem. So you're basically breaking things down, differentiating, solving all these littler problems, and combining them into one again, and that would be integration. Okay, so a lot of mathematicians use this procedure um, to solve very big problems. Now, the question is, what is the problem? So elitists, or whoever is seeking to dominate everybody their problem is domination so you can replace the word domination with the problem in what I just described so divide domination into a number of sub dominations that are smaller instances of the same domination so how they do this is they want to stay on top and they want to dominate so they want to make sure everyone below them is doing the same thing so that is where identity politics comes from that's where men versus women comes from that's where black versus white racism comes from all of these things that are perpetuated in the media right now are there to instill into people's minds that this is a game of domination my group is oppressed, yours isn't. And we don't like you, and you are you are not one of us, you know. It's this tribalism that they're fractionating down. And if they can get everybody to be dominators in their own lives and dominating, it's a distraction away from the ones who are actually on top. So conquer the sub-dominations by solving them through repeated application of a rule. If they are small enough, solve the subdominations as base cases or individuals. Each individual must dominate something. That's their goal. If they can get people to be start to be bullies at work, start to oh, don't say that about this and political correctness and oh racism and sexism. If they can get us talking about these things and being obsessed about these divisions then we're going to be distracted by who's on top. So it's a propaganda thing. And then next, combine the solutions to the subdominations into the solution for the original domination. So this keeps the hierarchy of domination intact if the people at the top who have access and control of the media, they probably own the media, if as long as we can push this propaganda out there then people can be obsessed with dominating and working up the ladder and you know being self-centered that's how totalitarian 
totalitarian regimes develop. The people in communist Russia and, and Nazi Germany, they all became totalitarians all the way down. So everyone was a totalitarian to something beneath it. You know, everybody. Everyone became totalitarians with one totalitarian at the top. Okay, so then if you want to, if your goal is freedom for people and individuals, then it changes. Divide the freedom, the ultimate freedom, into a number of sub-freedoms that are smaller instances of the same freedom. And that's what the Constitution is of the United States. There are these essential sub-freedoms that if we keep these intact, then they can combine into a greater freedom. Conquer the sub-freedoms by solving them through repeated application of a rule. If they are small enough, solve the sub-freedoms at the individual level. Combine the solutions to the sub-freedoms into the solution for the original freedom. So, it's all about what you think the problem is. So, we, as average everyday citizens... Our problem is, I want to be more free. I want to be free of debt. I want a job that I enjoy. Or I want to do something that is meaningful to me. I want a family. I want uh, opportunities for my family. I want, you know, all these things. It's all about freedom. But someone who's scared of losing their power is going to not want everyone to be free because then they lose their power. The power starts going into individuals. So they want to switch the game and make it a domination game instead of a freedom game. So to wrap this up, if the elites can produce propaganda of identity politics and other things, which is a game of domination and tribalism, then they can keep dominating the masses by causing groups and individuals to be stuck in the game of domination. If individuals can speak truth in their everyday lives, which is a game of freedom, speaking the truth, which is a game of freedom, then they can keep freeing the masses by causing groups and individuals to be aware of the game of freedom. And I've had personal instances of this, many, many personal instances of this, where I started saying the truth at work. And yes, it's... The, the truth is a sword. It cuts through. It can be painful. It can be crazy. But always when you're speaking the truth, the best thing that can happen will happen. And there's a lot of crazy things that happened when I was at work, when I would speak the truth. But then it gave other people confidence and they started telling the truth. And tyrannical bosses started crumbling and even got fired. And it just start, sort of reverberated throughout um, all the places I've been to. Just It wasn't me. It was just the fact that I, I would rather speak the truth and lose my job than be stuck under a totalitarian regime of domination for my whole life. So, and, you know, just silence myself and not challenge anything. Anyway, uh... That's the video for today. Like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Powerful Thought Daily. I'm Jay Hendricks. Have a good day. Bye.